The creation of an electric motorcycle powertrain served as a stepping stone to the new era of two-wheeled transport. As a result, it's not uncommon to see engineers pairing this innovative powertrain with daring designs and unconventional engineering approaches. WMC 250 EV is a motorcycle setup that backs up this statement perfectly. Its creators wanted to maximize the aerodynamic efficiency of battery-powered motorcycles and created a two-wheeler that has a streamlined design with a giant air duct that's going through the center. Such approach is said to reduce drag by 70%, thus improving the range. And we all know that this riding range is one of the factors that's keeping e-bikes from going mainstream, right? At the current stage of its development, WMC 250 EV is powered by a four-motor powertrain and 15 kilowatt-hour lithium-ion battery pack. By having two motors in each wheel, the bike received two-wheel drive capabilities and an efficient regenerative braking system. At the moment, the combined output of the powertrain is set at 100 kilowatts. Even though this is plenty of power for a 660-pound bike, the power output is very likely to be increased in the future as the company is aiming to achieve the 250 mile per hour top speed record with this model. Nawa Technologies has recently announced about their significant progress in the field of producing a highly efficient hybrid battery for electric vehicles. This hybrid battery consists of two modules, a smaller nano-based ultracapacitor module and a lithium-ion battery pack. By combining the next-generation battery technology with an already existing one, Nawa Technologies has created a battery system that offers 10 times more power and 5 times more energy than any existing energy storage solution. The use of the ultracapacitors allowed the engineers to achieve fast charging times and great energy recovery. The energy would be recovered through a regenerative braking system that's said to capture up to 80% of energy that's normally lost due to braking. Since the ultracapacitor module offers such great efficiency of capturing the energy, the size of the main lithium-ion battery pack is two times smaller than that of a traditional electric vehicle. A smaller battery pack also means lighter weight, the first product to showcase the Nawa Technologies unique battery system would be the racer motorcycle. The two-wheeler would have a 9 kilowatt hour battery pack that will provide up to 93 miles of highway riding and up to 186 miles of city riding thanks to the effective use of regenerative braking in the city. The racer prototype will also feature a light carbon fiber frame, a 73 kilowatt hubless electric motor, and 100 mile per hour top speed capabilities. Information technology is taking over the motorcycling industry, and bikes like DC100 clearly back up this statement. The development of the pre-production version of the DC100 bike took Da Vinci seven years, since the company wanted to refine its numerous systems and sensors to perfection. As a result, this intelligent two-wheeled robot is able to track temperatures, speed, acceleration, and terrain types, adjusting its performance accordingly. The bike is powered by two e-motors, delivering 100 kilowatts and 627 pound-feet of torque, while a 0-60 to 60 sprint is claimed to take between 3 and 4 seconds. Compatible with a level 3 DC fast charger, the Da Vinci motorbike can be fully charged in just 30 minutes. Designed specifically to provide a thrilling riding experience, this model has a sharp throttle that delivers instant, adaptable acceleration. The creators of this vehicle like to refer to it as a robotic motorcycle. The main reason for this title is a set of high-tech sensors that analyze the riding environment at all times and adjust motor power accordingly. The motorcycle also has several ride modes, hill start assist control, downhill assist control, a combined braking system, traction control, as well as a kinetic energy recovery system that can charge the battery on the go. The owners of DaVinci bikes also get a dedicated phone app for all trip information, vehicle information, GPS, and navigation. All these features with high performance make the DC100 a complete package. The fans of classic models could also opt in for the Da Vinci DC Classic modification. There will be only 50 units of this less futuristic bike produced.
Electric motorcycle designers are sometimes accused of being led by traditional design philosophy, sticking to a legacy construction where the traditional fuel tank area is still present, and not matching battery electric powertrains to brave and innovative exterior looks. It seems that a custom bike builder from France might have taken these accusations personally and produced one of the most unusual electric motorcycles out there. This creation is called the Hope Bike. The custom look of this two-wheeler is said to be greatly influenced by the Porsche design philosophy with smooth lines and rounded surfaces that contribute to the bike's great aerodynamics. The mechanical platform of the Hope Bike was borrowed from the VX1 electric maxi scooter. It's brought into motion by means of a rear hub motor with the peak output rated at 21 kilowatts. The torque parameter is said to be 47 pound-feet, while the maximum riding speed is 87 miles per hour. If you ever get a chance to ride the Hope Bike, you can expect it to go up to 150 miles between charges. A couple of years ago, a Vancouver-based startup called Damon Motorcycles unveiled a highly promising superbike prototype. The model created enough buzz to let it earn a CES prize for the best motorcycling innovation. Such high praise was earned by the Hypersport for the disruptive technology on multiple levels. Besides being a really capable electric motorcycle with 150 kilowatts of output, a 0-60 to 60 acceleration time of about 3 seconds, and 200 miles riding autonomy, it features a variety of unseen before features. The list of innovations includes a variable geometry technology, 5G connectivity, and 360 degree co pilot safety tech. The latter feature is supposed to make motorcycle riding safer since the bike itself will monitor the road through full HD cameras and will alert the rider about dangers. Damon will be released in two trims the Base HS and the High End Premier trim. This year, Damon Motorcycles have announced a potential expansion of their model range in the upcoming years. The second bike will be produced under the Damon brand and is the Hyper Fighter Colossus. This limited edition two-wheeler is to be brought into motion by means of an electric, oil-cooled motor capable of generating 150 kilowatts of power and 173 pound-feet of torque. The motor draws its energy from a lithium-ion battery pack that has an active thermal management system thus being able to withstand great loads, especially when you're trying to hit the announced 170 mile per hour top speed mark. The battery's 20 kilowatt hour capacity will let you travel for up to 146 miles in the combined cycle. It will also support level one, level two, and DC fast charging. So with the most powerful recharging option, you can get back on the road in about 45 minutes. Other significant features that this model has include a smart co-pilot system that uses radars and cameras to provide you with useful safety warnings on the road, as well as a shift system that raises and lowers handlebars and foot pegs to achieve the most comfortable riding position. The road towards the production of a completely unique motorcycle with a hubless design has not been easy. It's taken the whole Verge Motorcycles team many years to go through a variety of obstacles. Despite all the hardships, they managed to bring to market a unique engineering product called the Verge TS. The bike's revolutionary hubless design, where the motor is integrated into the rear rim, managed to wow the crowd at motor show displays all over the world. The powertrain of the Verge TS peaks at 80 kilowatts and delivers 738 pound-feet of torque to the rear wheel. With a power plant like this, you can sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 4 seconds. With its massive 20.2 kilowatt-hour battery pack, the e-motorcycle still weighs 440 pounds. This battery unit promises up to 125 miles of highway riding and supports the CCS fast charging technology. The fastest supported charging option can replenish 62 miles of range in just 15 minutes. However, if the onboard charger is used, the complete charging cycle would take up to four and a half hours.
The creators of the Arc Vector motorcycle have defied the odds and managed to bring the model from the dead. According to the CEO of the British brand, the company found ways to secure proper funding to begin production and deliveries of this luxury electric bike. Created as a showcase for the latest motorcycling innovations, this model boasts a futuristic Neo Cafe racer designed with a large variety of handcrafted elements. The Vector will feature a revolutionary carbon fiber Monaco frame that's encasing a 16.8 kilowatt hour battery pack. Such design positively reflected on weight and rigidity of the frame. The motorcycle is brought into motion by a 95 kilowatt electric motor, good for reaching the speeds of up to 125 miles per hour. It's also based on the 339 volt architecture, thus enabling fast charging capabilities. With the most powerful charging system, you could get back on the road in just 40 minutes and travel for 200 miles without needing to look for a plug. Arc Vector also features an innovative human-machine interface technology and a special heads-up display that provides the rider with a variety of riding data, thus increasing on-the-road safety. Priced at $115,000, the one from the Alabama Curtis Motorcycles is one of the most expensive American-made motorcycles out there. This hefty price tag is being justified by the 15-unit exclusivity, lots of proprietary tech, and the highest-end components from the segment leaders. This one is built on the company's developed Triple Load Path Monaco, where the battery acts as a structural element and a load-bearing member. The suspension features modular carbon fiber griders and fully adjustable race tech monoshocks, both in the front and the rear. The bike's powertrain system is built around a 16.8 kilowatt hour battery pack that feeds the most energy dense motor on the market. It's able to produce 159 kilowatts and 272 pound feet. Though in the one, it is restricted to 89 kilowatts and 147 pound feet of peak output. Many modern car and motorcycle manufacturers are resorting to the use of 3D printing technology in the development and production of their vehicles. In an effort to prove that the application of this technology could be depended even further in the future, the innovation arm of the big rep printer manufacturer started a unique project. The aim of their project was to produce an electric motorcycle where almost all components are 3D printed. So meet NARA, the first fully 3D printed motorbike in the world. The company claims that all NARA's components, except for the electrical parts, were created with the help of their printing technologies. Thanks to this approach, during design and production stage, the electric two-wheeler gets such exclusive features as embedded electronics, airless tires, and forkless steering. The components of the battery electric powertrain were also neatly embedded in the bike's construction. Moreover, their creation turned out to be pretty light, as it tips the scales at just 132 pounds. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new product reviews in the comments section below. Thanks once again and till next time.